New restrictions in place in Baltimore City after Mayor Brandon Scott announced the new mandates closing both in-person and outdoor dining. That decision causing mixed reaction from local small business owners. And joining us this morning with more on the impact is President and CEO of the Restaurant Association of Maryland, Marshall Weston. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. So we've heard from many restaurant owners about the audible gasp you could hear in the city when this decision was made. What are you hearing? Restaurants are clearly frustrated. Uh, they've spent so much time and energy uh, doing things to get ready for the holiday season. And now that's basically been taken away from them. And we've got to remember that thousands, thousands of employees no longer have work as of today. All the servers and bartenders that were counting on the next couple weeks uh, to make their money to get through the holidays, they don't have that available to them. So it's really got a uh, staggering impact. Yeah, really less than a two day notice in the city and now Anne Arundel County making that same decision as well. So I'm sure you're hearing from owners and, and employers employees there. Uh, yes, and uh, the frustration just kind of boils over when they see uh, the governor uh, other counties such as Baltimore County, Howard County, uh, staying in lockstep with the governor and his analysis. So they really want to understand why uh, their city or Anne Arundel County has to be in a uh, different position when their neighbors are uh, aggressively fighting the pandemic and keeping businesses open at the same time. Well, we're trying to have a good attitude about it when it comes to supporting local, doing delivery and, and takeout. But the bottom line is a lot of these restaurants spent tens of thousands of dollars on these outdoor tents, and now they're just stuck with all of this at this point. Exactly. And if we can think back, a lot of the grant programs and other things that were pitched to restaurants, uh, please go use this money to set up your outdoor dining. And, and we're going to do things to help you get through the the colder months and to help you accommodate uh, the lack of indoor dining. It's all been taken away and uh, we need to have answers why um, these decisions were made that uh, are so uh, impactful on us when it's completely out of our control and yet the data does not prove that there is evidence that restaurants are a source of COVID spread. Well, and the governor said that this week himself, pretty much uh, perplexed as to why these decisions were made. But he also did talk about some loan forgiveness. $75 million in loans have now been turned into grants. How helpful is that? Extremely helpful. There are plenty of restaurants out there that took advantage of these loans, and it is uh, great to hear that they are now going to be grants. Also, the governor announcing uh, the executive order to deal with the unemployment insurance uh, rates was a huge concern of our industry. Having to lay off so many people at no fault of our own, it would have been a double whammy to now have the, an, an increased expense on these restaurants for unemployment. So, you know, we were glad to see those two things coming out of the governor this week. Any data or, or numbers that you have as far as how many restaurants have already shut down in the state that won't be coming back? We conducted a survey with uh, the National Restaurant Association about uh, two weeks ago, prior to all these announcements of uh, additional uh, restrictions. And at that time, 45% of Maryland restaurant operators felt that they would not be in business six months from now, unless the federal government or the state was able to come up with a significant amount of money and targeted relief for restaurants. And then now, now that with we have yeah. these additional restrictions, those mm -hmm. numbers are clearly going to go up in Baltimore City and Anne Arundel County. So when you talk about wanting to get some answers, where will you get those answers from and what recourse do you have? Well, we're still trying to figure that out. At this point in time, uh, restaurants are just uh, trying to help their employees that they have to lay off, get the resources they need to make ends meet. And you know, it's going to take a little bit of time for this to kind of uh, settle in and, and figure out what the real impact is. But, you know, we have restaurants calling our association every single day asking, what can we do? And, uh, you know, we, we recommend that they call their county executive or the, the city mayor's office and, uh, you know, express your frustration and concern. And at this point, uh, we're still evaluating. And as far as the employees, they just have to re now reapply for unemployment? Yes. If we can think back of the up and down cycle that these poor people have had over the past year, they were laid off early on in the season. We brought them back in the summer and now we have to put them uh, you know, back on the unemployment lines again. And our concern is clearly with servers and bartenders who are used to making 
money on a daily basis through tips, how long are they going to have to wait for a check? Is it going to be before Christmas? Is it going to be after the new year? Is it going to be January 15th? These are unknown. So, you know, restaurant owners are really trying to do everything they can to help their employees right now get through this very difficult and unfortunate time because it's not their fault. Boy, very tough times right now. Thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Glad to be on. Thank you. You're welcome.